Hello, I'm Cody and I finally decided to do a run of Velvet Assassin. Uh, I wrote this game like four years ago, actually a couple of times even, but I never bothered to do, do, actually do a full game run for reasons you'll find out soon enough. Uh, first level is fairly straightforward, there's no any glitches here. There is there is a way to, actually a couple of ways to go out of bounds in this map, but I just don't find it to be worth it as uh, the level is really short anyway, and if you go out of bounds you generally can't see a damn thing you're doing, so it just isn't worth the effort, if it even saves any time, which I doubt. Instead I just distract this guard for a bit so I can kill him. Trying to run past these two guys is not really viable, just end up getting shot. Potentially you could maybe attack the guy right now, but ah, I'm not taking any chances. Because uh, I only decided that I'm gonna do exactly one run of this game, and then I'm gonna edit together that one run to make it somewhat watchable. I cut out all the ugliest failures and uh, deaths and whatever it takes to make the run watchable, so if anyone else ever decides to or considers to run this game, they'll just decide not to after seeing this. Yeah, as here I have grabbed some morphine because morphine is pretty much the only way to take out enemies from the front. I mean of course you can shoot them but even then it's not really consistent because the gunplay in this game is complete shit. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, in this level, level I also use morphine once again for the same reason and I'm also gonna do the first trick of, trick of the run which is going out of bounds using a soldier right here the way it works is you grab the body place it in a, in a tight area this corner is very good for clipping then you spin around and pick up the body again and if all goes right you end up out of bounds but usually it all doesn't go right and you'll have to try again and again and again and some corners are better than others this one is mostly doable also like I said this is the one and only run I ever did so I did not bother learning uh, all the layouts of the levels while out of bounds because you can't see a damn thing and the only way to navigate is to just either memorize where you're supposed to go or keep opening the map, see where you are. And I, I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna use the map. It's not worth it to memorize everything. If anyone wants to, be my guest. But yeah, there are a couple of ways to get out of pounds in addition to using the soldiers. Uh, you can apparently like get jammed in a, in a door, like when a, while a door is closing you get stuck in the doorway and it pushes you above the door, I believe. I've never been able to do that. And uh, at least in the first level you can run into a wall while the game autosaves, and then you load the autosave and it should place you out of bounds. But again, I've never been able to do that either. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the uh, soldier clipping is the most consistent way to do it. And you can do it pretty much everywhere, so might as well. That was a fairly minor, it skips like one area, taking the shortcut through the water. Um, I tried to use a much more significant shortcut in this level, but sadly the, the level exit trigger is a bit too high up, so you can't just get on the water and walk to it. You actually have to complete at least some of the level. There we go. Accidentally hiding in the closet is pretty good. But yeah, uh, before I did this route of the game, uh, well, I beat the game casually all the way to the final level, then I realized how, how absolutely awful the final level is. So you know, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna try to route the speedrun of this, and then I routed a glitchless speedrun all the way to the final level. And once again, remember how bloody awful the final level is. 
So I figured, okay, there's got to be a way to do this without it being awful. So I, I found the uh, soldier clipping. And suddenly, all the game got a lot shorter. But, once again, I routed the game for the second time, all the way to the final level. And again, realized that, oh my god, this level is completely, complete garbage. And, uh... Well, that's a large reason to why I never did any runs of this game, because the last level is just complete garbage. Well, the last two levels, really. And the clipping is incredibly inconsistent to begin with, as I believe this next clip is gonna take me... take me a few attempts. Still, it's uh, this is one of the more difficult clips in the game, in my opinion, so I think I got it reasonably fast, considering that. Also, this shows the incredible spotting mechanics of this game. I thought that was a safe way to take down this guy, but nope. Of course, his body heard that. Luckily, none of the other soldiers in the area had the gunshots, which makes perfect sense. <coughs> really, excuse me, got a bit of a cough. But yeah. Corners like this are usually not good for clipping. It's like the smaller the corner, the better. And this is 90 degrees. Not exactly optimal. Oh, actually, that was like second try. That's really good for that clip. And then I just run out of bounds all the way to the exit. I stay out of bounds for quite some time to make sure that none of the enemies spawn. So uh, at the moment I'm not in a disguise, so they would just shoot me on sight. There you go. Level loaded and no enemies yet. In, in this level I actually think it might be worth it to just stay in bounds for the entire level. But uh, that would have required me to learn the inbounds route again and I... Ah. Out of points it's just so much simpler. I figured I'd do that instead. Just out of sheer laziness. It's also kind of an annoying clip here. Well, I think I got it reasonably fast. Also I have no, no use for that ammo, I just picked it up because I wasn't sure what to do. But yeah, this clip can be pretty annoying, and uh, I think that the reason why I think inbounds is faster is because this clip can take any amount of time. Nice pushing the box right there. Good job, me. But yeah, technically this corner is way better than the one in the previous level, but it can still be difficult. And there you can really see how you're supposed to turn around when you pick up the body to get out of bounds. As I was failing it. And once again I'm using the map to navigate because man, I'm not learning these maps uh, from memory. Just not happening. But yeah. Uh, I think that this level I uh, I spliced out a good chunk of failures. <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab a checkpoint here soon. Gotta backtrack to it. Because I knew that the next area is risky. Let's see. Can I figure out where I am? Yes, I can. Kind of. There we go. The checkpoint's in this room. Just gotta figure out how to get down there. And there we go. But yeah. From there I cut out, uh, I think, like four failures. So I, I need to make my way to the target. And uh, this bit right here is really precise. Because if this soldier blocks the staircase, then you cannot continue. It's simple as that. He has to be out of the way for you to be able to kill this guy. And you can't use the morphine any sooner because otherwise it will just run out and you can't do the kill. Uh, 
this... I consider this to be one of the more difficult levels in the game, actually, but... I think I got this first try somehow. I mean, the main reason why I consider it to be difficult is because you get, like, no checkpoints. As, uh, the route kind of skips all of them. As you end up going out of bounds. I think this was like one of the first clips I found in the game. But yeah, once again you can easily see how the clip is supposed to work. As I, as I do like a 180 before picking up the body. It's also just possible that uh, the body pushes you out of bounds as you drop it. Like you can see I kind of clipped on the, on the crash can a few times and it instantly fall, fell down. That's uh, p possible but it seems really rare and I haven't been able to make it consistent. Yeah, the level exit is on the right here, but it's not active just yet. I need to go steal some papers first. So you got to be careful here, because if you just run, run up against that thing, you'll just go straight through it. But if you walk, you can climb up and uh, get back in bounds. So this area is supposed to have a bunch of enemies, and it will, eventually. But for now, because I approach it in, from a stupid direction, the enemies haven't spawned. It's actually important that the enemies spawn eventually, at least this one specific enemy right here. Because he has the key to a safe that contains the papers I have to steal. I don't kill him immediately, because uh, there's also another guard in the area, and I want his... Uh, body to fly in this direction, so I can grab the key without getting shot horribly. Because uh, I will take a ton of damage near the end of the level anyway, so it's it's nice to have full health at this point, if at all possible. Again, fantastic spotting mechanics. I would assume that's a silent kill, but nah, this guy notices it anyway. And sometimes he even like starts hunting for you. He doesn't actually come after you, but he keeps pointing his gun at the shadow where you're at, even if he doesn't see you at all. That's just how spotting in this game works. If you hide in a shadow and uh, someone decides to come look for something, they will always look towards you, no matter what. They might not have a clue that you're there, but they'll still keep an eye on exactly the spot you are in. It's really great. But yeah. Right there I take some damage. There I almost got stuck on the soldier. Which would have been really bad because... Uh, the morphine is pretty limited. And I gotta, I gotta make it far enough so that I can survive all the way to the exit. I think this is another level where I spliced quite heavily. At least one one death I removed, I believe. But anyway, I want this uh, enemy to come in into this room so I can use him to clip out of bounds. What a surprise, I know. There's such a huge variety of tricks in this game. I think this clip takes a while. But uh, for some reason I chose not to speed it up. I think later on when there's there are clips that uh, take more than like five attempts I just uh, sped up the video to make it more watchable. Also if, if you for whatever reason want to watch the original video without commentary or I guess I'll include like uh, the commentary from stream that I was doing live that was garbage uh, I'll, I'll include a link to that video in the description. So, I don't know why you would watch that, 
it's more the same except with failures because this is not boring enough as it is <laughs> but yeah that's an option at least so I can verify that my time actually is like is it 48 36 something along those lines was the final time but yeah I cut out like 10 minutes of stuff from this uh, this video to make it at least somewhat watchable. Okay, I wasn't supposed to get spotted there, but it's not a big deal as long as I can kill this guy. I just need his body for clipping. Surprise! Also, those kill animations where you shoot the enemy don't actually waste ammo. And that's quite important because you have really limited ammo in this game. Killing this guy isn't really necessary, but it can make the next bit easier. So I figured I might as well because he's so nice, nicely standing right there. This box on the left you are supposed to move with the crane, but yeah, that takes a while. But because it's a movable object, it also means that it's really easy to get out of here. So you're never supposed to be on this side. But yeah. This is the part I failed once and cut out. So you are currently watching the successful attempt at this checkpoint. One of those guys has the key, so it's it's necessary to kill at least him. And it's usually much easier to just kill all of them. Normally I go for the uh, poison gas that's nearby, but... Yeah, this works too. Actually seemed a bit easier. Oh, hello. I really like this explosion. Just place the bomb here and the whole whole place blows up all over, all over the place. Yes, game. That is exactly where I, where I place the explosives. Coming up is like a, a shootout section, but I'm not gonna do that because it's really hard. Instead, I decided to go for this clip, which is also pretty difficult, but I got it reasonably quickly, so it paid off. <coughs> Previously I didn't think this clip was worth doing because I always like I ended up running out of time completely before getting it, but that was really fast, so I'm glad I got that in a run. Also think it's easier because the shootout is actually difficult. And then just try to the exit. You can't just run straight to the exit in this level, you actually do need to blow up the... whatever that area is. Otherwise the exit won't be there. Okay. Find three agents. I don't think so. How about we just skip the entire level instead? Sounds like more fun. This is sped up, because this clip took a while. Yeah. Still way worth it, well worth it. I think. I hope. I will at least claim so. It is quite nice how the uh, out-of-bounds areas in each level are their different colors. Also nice how you can trigger cutscenes from out of mounts. Find the remaining agents first. No.
And once I got down there, I couldn't remember what the exit trigger is. So I ran around for a bit, looking for it. It's not that way. There you go. Optimize the speedrun. If you want a free world record, I can confirm that this run has at least 10 minutes uh, of mistakes. You wanna guess what I'm gonna do with this this uh, enemy soldier? Spoiler, include stealth corner right there. And this is also sped up. In case you couldn't tell. And then I finally get it. <clears throat> Somehow it's possible to like fall down in this map. I think it's right right at the end. It's like you fall down a bit and then you end up being so low that you can't actually hit the exit. And that is <laughs> really frustrating. It seems like you've done everything so well and then you just see the exit. And it's out of reach, and there's no way to gain more height. And all you can do is reset and go for the clip again. <coughs> again, morphine kill from, from the front. Attempting to kill with just with the knife from the front, it's just downright suicidal. I don't think I've ever managed to kill anything with the knife from the front. Or if I have, then at least the next enemy has killed me reasonably quickly. Yeah. Uh, getting out, out of bounds here skips uh, turning off the electricity. <coughs> uh, excuse me. <coughs> and I'm gonna hang on to this body. Because I'll, I'll need to do another clip as well. This Anna clip is also one of those where you can somehow just uh, lose a bunch of height as you do it, and if that happens, you probably cannot finish the level. Well, in this case, you probably have some way to still do it, but I could not be bothered to figure out how. once again using the map to navigate because memorizing these areas is not fun and it doesn't exactly cost me much time yep, there you can see the exit already and just crouch and approach this corner to get back in bounds here you go and that's that level <coughs> Okay, only three levels left. This is probably the longest level in the game. At least in terms of the distance you have to travel. It also took me two tries. So I missed the headshots on this guy. I had to edit that out. There's no reason to drag this body. I just it's a it's a reflex at this point. Like if there is a is a dead enemy nearby, I must pick up the body and go out of bounds. Luckily I realized quite quickly that I'm not supposed to go out of bounds here. There is not a single place where I can go out of bounds. Or at least I haven't been able to do that yet. Nor will I ever because I'm done with this game. There's four enemies here. Uh, probably technically wouldn't be necessary to kill them all. But the way spotting works in this game, good luck getting anything done. If even one of them is alive, because he will hunt you down. So I opted to just find them all, make the rest of the level easier. Also, the 
the crosshair in this game is absolutely fucking massive, so it's almost useless when trying to make shots like that. So, uh, when I was playing this, I actually had a tiny piece of tape on my monitor to indicate where the center of the uh, crosshair actually is, just to make uh, shots like that a bit more <laughs> doable, I suppose. <clears throat> Yep, one of the easier clips in the game. Just get on the water. We're not gonna need a boat. Boat is slow. And um, it gets us to uh, a bad location. We have to go all the way around the building. This is much nicer. First, I need to go a bit forward to make sure that the area loads. I mean, technically, it's probably loaded anyway, but I just the textures haven't loaded, so it's a bit difficult to do anything. There you go. Now, this is one of the scariest part of the run. So I have to walk on this wall, and if I fall, uh, I must reset, because there's no way up from here. And uh, I'm not sure if the level is even completable at that point because the boat won't be where it's supposed to be. And there have been no checkpoints up to this point, so it's all the way from the level beginning if you fall down. And then I gotta make it back. Crouching makes this much, much easier. I, for some reason I always used to do this uh, uh, while standing up and it was a nightmare. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, probably one of the bigger skips in the game. I mean, it's really hard to tell. It's not like I do a single level correctly, other than like the first one. And uh, I think a bunch of new enemies spawn near the beginning of the map, so I stay out of bounds all the way through. It's just easier. And probably faster too. At least it would be if I knew where I was going, but who does that? drop back in bounds and walk to the exit trigger. Obviously the exit trigger wasn't here at the beginning. Why am I even explaining that? Okay, and the final two levels, which are the worst levels in the game by far, as they made me stop playing this game twice. First on the casual playthrough and then on the glitchless uh, speedrun playthrough. Like, well, three times I guess, because I never did a run with glitches either. And uh, I can definitely blame these levels for that, as well as the whole clipping being inconsistent and dumb thing. <coughs> Enjoy quality dialogue here for a while. So I've got nothing to say. Cool. 
Yeah, I, I looked into a way to maybe just kill these guys without waiting for the conversation to end. But the only thing you have at this point is the knife and there's two enemies, so it just wasn't happening. Killing even one enemy with the knife is uh, difficult and random, so two enemies is just next to impossible. But yeah, then I kill the first enemy I see and I drag his body to a corner. Yep, never seen that before. Hot original speed tech. I think in this level the level exit is actually there at all times, and I could just walk there and uh, be done with the map. But uh, I'm gonna need a gun for the next level, and I don't think there is one playing around in the next map, so I'm gonna have to go, go in bounds for a second. Attempt to heal while my health is full, <coughs> and pick up a rifle. However, picking up this rifle also means that the enemies uh, go full psychic and start attacking this building. And <laughs> I switched to mouse and keyboard for this section because, uh, well, shooting with a controller in this game, or well, in any game, honestly, is just fucking awful. Mouse and keyboard are not much better. But it at least makes this doable. The reason why I use, use controller for most of the game is, uh, is because the clips are, I think, much easier with a controller because you have to do like a circular motion before you pick up the body, and that's a bit awkward with a keyboard. <coughs> like in the next level, you'll see me switch back to controller for a clip. I take a bit of a detail right at the end because there's a bunch of enemies uh, on the other side of the yard and they can really do a lot of damage. Alright, final level. Also the worst and hardest level in the game. Those guys with flamethrowers uh, can explode when you shoot the tank, but uh, it feels really inconsistent when you actually have that happen. It's always worth going for it because they can uh, take out a bunch of enemies uh, with them, but you know, it happens when it happens. <clears throat> it's especially useful in the final, uh, final section, yeah, switching back to controller for this upcoming clip. The game sadly doesn't automatically detect which one you're using, so you have to go through the menu every time. And once you have set, uh, switched from like the setting from mouse and, mouse and keyboard to controller, keyboard completely stops working. So if you happen to accidentally hit that um, hit that option, then you need to, need to use the controller to fix your mistake. It's really fun, wonderful menu design. Totally appreciate that. <coughs> Excuse me, once again. And uh, I think I actually went out of bounds in a bit of a bad spot here, because uh, if I move, go a bit further, go in bounds, then hit one, one trigger uh, before going for the checkpoint, uh, some of the enemies won't spawn. But, you know what, it doesn't really matter point is that I'm going for a checkpoint because I assume I'm gonna die in the final fight, and I sure as hell died many times. 
you won't be seeing uh, those deaths in this run because I was nice enough to cut them out. Also, uh, uh, I am once again playing with mouse and keyboard. You didn't see me switch to uh, switch it from the menu because it was included in one of those cut attempts at this final fight. So yeah, <laughs> huge inconsistencies in this run. Oh, how horrible! But yeah, would it be nice if I could shoot this uh, teleporting flamethrower guy a bit sooner so he would like three enemies as he dies, but no. Can't rely on that happening. It's not really that important anyway, since the fight went fairly smoothly. And this is the most consistent way I've found for dealing with these final enemies of the game. Oh, I don't actually look at the crosshair here, not that much at least. I just uh, line up where I'm aiming at using the iron side of the gun. There's a small corner in the cliff in the background. Just aim at that thing and uh, it allows me to get headshots as these enemies walk in. <coughs> the annoying part about this is that uh, some of the enemies are not as nice as these two guys. Just walk into the crosshair and die. Some of them decide to be heroes and just run in, run way past the crosshair. Don't give me, don't give me enough time to react and uh, well, then they shoot me. Not good. Especially if there's two at two at a time, then it's pretty much game over. But yeah, for the rest of the game, I will be sitting in this corner for like a minute longer. Maybe not quite that long. But yeah, exciting gameplay. That is Velvet Assassin, more or less. Continues to be Velvet Assassin for a while. Hope you got something out of this run and decided that, yo, this game is not worth speedrunning. But if you still, for some reason, want to speedrun this game, be my guest. The world record at the moment is this run, 48 minutes, 36 seconds. And uh, I promise you, if you beat my time, I will not, I will not take the record from you. <coughs> you can have it. Or if you decide to run this game, I would at least recommend doing like glitchless. It's probably more fun <laughs> because these clips are really random and uh, well, most of the game you just run out of bounds which is not all that interesting. Hey, that's the ending of the game. Cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. I continue to blunder blindly forward like an escaped madwoman. Does my path lead? I fall into nothing.